Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Motion Bring you guys another video guys in today's video We have to talk about something that I know a lot of the Fortnite community is talking about if you don't know about this You're going to learn about something that is going to dramatically Change the game of Fortnite. So basically if you guys don't know uh, Fortnite's basically a battle royale built off of Building. I mean, the game is called Fortnite. So, Fort, it's building your fort, building your base, building and stuff like that. So, the game is based off of building, and I believe that's why the game is so successful. Because over time, I mean, all these other Battle Royale games got plain and boring. I mean, they were really fun, but once they added a new element, like building to the game, it changed the game completely, and it took off and blew up like crazy. People loved it. It was entertaining to watch because all the quick builders would just do insane things that normal casual players just would not be able to do. And I think that's what made this game stand out is because people wanted to hit that level people wanted to experience that and actually play the game to get to that level and get that victory royale with building but apparently fortnite is changing the game so basically if you don't know if you haven't heard the news they have an article on their actual page themselves where it says counterplay and play styles we're going to continue to make changes to evolve the game to give players multiple ways to counter each other in combat and create more strategies to win the game which okay that makes sense all right that sounds good they're gonna make some new strategies within the game it sounds like they're gonna add some more things to the game to make it a little bit more fun and creative so that's good that's fine we're fine with that fortnite is constantly evolving our goal with any changes is to keep the game fun and interesting keeping it feeling fresh and new again like i said this is good they want to add things they want to make sure if the game is always fun and always new it's just it's just not going to die down which is good that's what a dev team needs to do they need to always work on updates so that way they're pushing out content to the people that play the game so it doesn't get boring and stale and it's not the same game over and over again whenever they add new items in the game it always changes it up and people enjoy that whether they like it or not they'll end up taking it out if people don't like it if they do like it they'll keep it in the game which is fun and fine everything's good with that it's important to support a variety of late game strategies that don't boil down to just build lol we strongly believe that the evolution of fortnite supports a wide range of play styles and counterplay Cur currently the superiority of shotguns rockets and uncapped buildings are such a dominant play style in the final circle the most other strategies are being drowned out so this does make sense because the shotguns are really strong rockets are really strong and the uncapped buildings because a lot of the final fights are build battles and stuff like that so it does make sense that's what we're seeing at a lot of the end games but what do they want to see do they want to see a snipe off only where you can only snipe at the end game i mean people can do whatever they want that's the part of the game is you can end the game however you want if you want to have if it's two good players and they have a build off and they use shotguns at the end that's fine because they're two good players but sometimes you'll run into a bad person where you'll try to do a trick shot or snipe and i've seen many clips where this is happening where they're actually hitting clips and they're not just killing somebody with only a shotgun or rpg or something like that they're making it fun and interesting which i don't know why they're trying to change this because already in my eyes i see it's perfectly fine i mean there's nothing wrong with it there's nothing wrong with a build off at the end I think what they're trying to do is stop people from camping in one by one circles and constantly just keep building one by one circles while the other person spams and stuff like that. But I don't know what they want to happen. I mean, I'm from my understanding, I think they want the end game to be a little bit different. They want it to be interesting. They want to change it up and spice it up at the very end with something new. But let's keep reading before we actually get into details about what I think. So recent and upcoming changes. We have made a few changes recently and will continue to make more to give you options to counter other players in combat, especially in late game. We are exploring changes to weapon balances and resource economy like resource caps. Okay, so basically if you don't know what resource caps is, it's basically, you know how we can hold 999 wood, 999 metal, 999 brick. I think they want to cap that down to a lower level, like maybe 500 wood, 500, which sucks because you're gonna run out of mats and a lot of the times the crazy and the most intense fights the most entertaining things to watch is an insane build-off now when someone runs out of mats or anything like that it gets very stale and boring i mean if you guys notice whenever build-offs happen and the other person runs out of mats it, it, they literally just stand there looking up trying to see what's going on so it gets very boring but the build-offs is what makes it interesting and fun so having 999 is good whenever the people run out that's when things get boring whenever people aren't building and they're just sitting there shooting at each other because that's just a normal game we've we've dealt with that in call of duty pubg h1z1 where we just sat and shot at each other use cover behind other things to shoot at each other that that's already been done fortnite is different where they can actually build their own objects and materials in the game to protect themselves 
from the other person and that's what makes fortnite stand out and i think that's what made fortnite such a great game because it, it literally changed the evolution of gaming because instead of just using whatever the dev team the game developers made on the map like rocks and hills and stuff like that to hide behind you could build your own thing to hide behind so you can literally do anything you want within the game now that's just my opinion if anyone from epic is watching this video guys this is this is i believe this is what a strong majority of people believe within fortnite moving forward so where does this leave us you should be able to find victory rails throughout multiple strategies shotguns should be strong but other weapons have room to grow not every encounter should have to end in a build off we want to empower you to showcase your skill strategy and tactics in all variety of ways we'll be exploring these changes over the next few weeks we're excited to hear your thoughts and encourage you to participate in decisions on our various social channels guys so basically they they love feedback they want to hear feedback don't just throw them hate don't sit there because anyone that hates isn't going to get anything out of it you know if you're just sitting there bashing on someone like hey you guys are retarded you guys suck don't hate on nobody just give them feedback is exactly what i'm doing i'm just stating my opinion and what i think is good and right so basically what I think is going to happen is that they really want to change it off because it sounds like they want the end battle, the, the very ending of the game, I guess the top 10 situation, they want people to be more involved in other gunfights rather than building and shotguns and stuff like that because I, I guess it is, I do understand where they're coming from because I, I guess for a lot of the beginners, if they're not that good at building, the good people will end up just running up to them with stair ramps and they'll rush them and then shotgun them down and it's very easy for them to get a kill. So I understand where that's coming from but i mean it's kind of hard for ar shots if you want an ar gameplay it's going to be very boring because all people are going to be doing is sitting in a one by one if you're not having shotguns shotguns is where it's at because it's action people are in your face you're moving around a lot you're building a lot and it's crazy it's hectic but ars they're just going to sit back in a one by one spam shoot as much as they can and that's all they're going to do because you have a lot of ammo it's very easy to get ammo in this game so people are literally just going to spam and keep spamming and spamming and spamming it's going to be very boring to watch and as a game developer i think you want your game to be fun to watch so that way these uh these gaming entertainers are out here actually pushing this content out so people enjoy watching it they don't want to sit there and watch somebody two people get in an ar fight from across the map and just sit there and hide the whole time maybe hide behind hills and stuff like that because if they wanted to see that they'd go to h1 want to see that the game is really fun because we have the build offs and stuff we have an intense gunfights we have these bounce pads these launch pads these traps there's many ways of killing people um Fortnite's already doing an awesome job of making people use their creative mind and doing however they want to do to get kills, you know? So I think Fortnite's doing really good. I think they don't think they're doing good. So honestly, in my opinion, how Fortnite is right now, I think it's fine. They don't need to make any changes with materials and stuff like that. And a lot of the time, they want to like cap the resources. So basically, they want to make sure that whenever you pick up wood, you know how we get like 30 wood. We used to get 30. We only get 20 now. That's not really too big of a deal, but when you farm mats and stuff like that maybe you'll get less and less wood now this isn't going to be good because people that aren't good at the game they're going to have to be spending a lot of their time farming because they're not going to get that many kills so say for instance people that end up getting like two kills to win the game they're not going to have that much mats early in the game because they're going to be farming the whole entire time which is going to allow them to end up dying much more easily for good players good players it's not hard for them to get materials because all they have to do is kill two three people and they have all these mats just off of those three people they killed that's actually how you get a lot of your materials once you get to a higher skill level in the game you're not really farming too much maybe you're farming early game to get your mats but once you start getting kills you're gonna notice you have 999 wood 999 all this other stuff because you got kills not because you farmed so for them to actually cap it for the people that aren't that good at the game and don't get that many kills it's going to make it a little bit harder for them and that's just my two cents on it i want to know your guys's opinion because a lot of people are saying that this is going to kill fortnite but honestly it's not going to kill fortnite fortnite is still in their early development stages where they're just testing things out so if they do something and people don't like it they will listen to the community they will listen to you guys so if you guys do not like that changes just make your video opinion on it do whatever you need to do tweet about it but don't don't be rude about it just be polite and actually give your your thoughts on how the change Changes might affect the game because again they do listen to the community so if it does end up sucking they will change it back to how it used to be so it's fine with that they're again just exploring new things the game is still in early access so we're all still experiencing what it's like to actually see a game development team create a game 
while listening to the fans. So in reality, we're giving them every single idea they need via Reddit with our creative minds on Reddit, just everyone posting like, what if this happened? Conspiracies, like this could happen, this could happen. They can take these ideas and make it happen in the game. So they don't really have to do much thinking. They just have to do the encoding and stuff like that. And the but guys, that's all I really have for you guys in this video. I wanted to make this video because I wanted to give you guys my opinion on everything on what I think is going to happen within the game. Cause is Fortnite gonna die? No, a lot of people think it might, but I don't think it will but that's all i have for you guys in today's video tomorrow's video i have something huge for you guys stay tuned for tomorrow's video it's going to be it's going to be a pretty big video so hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next video peace